Hi guys, I have four different products to show you guys and I super super love these products. I just started recently, I just started recently using all of these but I have used it long enough to review them and give you guys a very kind of elaborate detailed explanation of why I love them. Um, and I'm going to use a table of contents right here. So if you guys are interested in some of the product, you guys can just fast forward to the timeline. Um, so yeah, I have four different products. And the first product I'm going to have to talk about is this one right here. This is the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. Yeah, that's what it's called. And this is what it looks like. I... I love this product. Now this product I used for at least three months, I have to say. I'm pretty sure I used it for that long. And this is the Milani Brow Fix Kit. This is what it looks like. And I wonder if there's a color. Oh, there is a color. So the color I have, uh, it's kind of hard to see, is number two medium and... Yep, it's the number two medium. And I use brown just because my hair is really, 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 really dark brown. Right now it's a little bit highlighted, but generally if it grows out, it's kind of like brown black. Um, and I really, really love, this is like amazing. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. It comes with three stuff right here, like a brush, this thing to, con not contour, um, highlight, and then there's a tweezer. I never use tweezers just because it's like a small tweezer and I have like better tweezers. But this is what it looks like. There's a slight mirror right here and then the three colors right there. And I mostly just use this brown down here just because this one I found that is a little bit too light. And I probably would use that if I had more blonde in my hair, if I highlight it one day or something. But I overall love these. And here I want to show you guys um, what that brown looks like. And I feel like it's just so pigmented so the bottom one as you can see is like a little bit darker when it goes on your face it's like darker than the color that it is um and this is just a really beautiful highlight color as well as you can see they're so pigmented and i love that there's no fallout there's barely any fallout and this is just such a good price for a drugstore brand so I'm so glad that Milani came out with this just because I couldn't really afford the Anastasia because that is so pricey. Another thing about it is that I didn't really like it when I used it. And I used it for a couple days, I think like one to one to three days. And I didn't really like the color. I didn't like how it stayed. But this one stays so well, especially if you use moisturizer on. I think that um, is the best application to use how to use this. Um, so I use moisturizer on and then I would use this on top because when you don't use moisturizer, it doesn't apply as well. Um, so yeah, and I have to mention about this brush right here. Um, this little teeny tiny brush is like so small. And let's compare it to my hand. I should have done it on this side. Okay, let's do left hand. It's that tiny, it's so small. So in the beginning, it was a lot harder to use. And I had another one before. But I just, I don't know. I didn't really like it after a while because I used it for so long. I felt like the bristle wasn't as well. So I tried looking for another one. I tried a Sephora, I tried a Sephora one. I didn't really like it. And I kind of got used to this. So this is actually really good. I use this to apply my brows that I currently have on right now. So yeah, I thought this was a really good deal. So I wanted to compare it to this over here. I This is my second... NYC brow one and I use this because my friend recommended it to me and I really like how she did hers and this is a seven six in brunette I'm pretty sure that's what it says but that's kind of weird that's in brunette but this was a dark brown and so I used two of this already and I didn't really like it in the beginning I didn't like it just because it was really cheap it was like three or four dollars but this is seven dollars right and you but you get all three of these and I use all three of these and I use the brush so I thought that was really good um this one had a lot of fallout especially when I was applying it it was like go all over my eyes so obviously um, this is more affordable, a more affordable brand for I guess like the teenagers or someone that's really young. Um, but I would totally get this one over this one because I feel like you're using more of the products because there isn't any fallout. And the big 
pigmentation is just so good. So I highly recommend this over this, although this does come with a tweezer and something else, but I didn't really like it. It wasn't good at all. So I highly recommend the Milani one. And those of you who like the brow, I did use the Anastasia um, pencil also, but I didn't like it. And the Milani, oh, they're just so good on their brow stuff. I don't know. But the Milani brow um, pencil is actually pretty good as well. It's so soft because I really don't like, okay, here's the thing. If you guys like really hard brow pencil stuff, then probably don't listen to what I say because this one is like a lot softer. And I don't like the hard one just because when I apply it, it kind of uh, makes my brow shed and I don't have a lot of hair already and my hair is really light so I don't like that I'm using a hard one and this is pretty soft it's like the softest the softest one I've used um, for brow 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 pencil wise and this color is in dark brown I use a dark brown and a lighter color depending on if I want it to be bold my eyebrows to be bold that day or just like subtle so yeah, I like this over this though, just because over time this was just like a little dewy. But this is really good if you want your brows to sh stay in shape for a long time. So yeah, so my favorite is this and I highly recommend you guys try it. I love it. Leave me any questions below if you guys have any questions that I didn't address. So that's this one. Okay, my next one will have to be um, this concealer okay so a little bit about me and concealer I don't use concealer I don't like concealer um hold on one moment please okay so back to what I was trying to say is because I wanted to get the example of the concealer that I used to use so I really really don't like concealer I don't like concealer for a couple of reasons and one of them being is that they generally crease so easily um, and I'm just speaking from the drugstore point of view just because I haven't really used any high-end concealer um, but I absolutely love this concealer and this is let me see this is the L'Oreal true match concealer and another reason why I don't like concealer is I feel like it never really matched my face it doesn't match my foundation and I don't know, there's so many reasons why I don't like concealer. And I found this Sonia Cusack concealer before. Um, as you can see, it's like fallout already and it's so hard for traveling. I like the fact that there's four different colors on this one, but they didn't really match my skin tone that well. And when I apply it, it didn't stay on my face. So I didn't really like this concealer all that much. Um, there's good pros and cons, but I would have to say my favorite concealer ever is this one and it makes you want to use it all the time and I would use this concealer even without foundation because I generally just have redness um, and I feel like it's so good it's so creamy and I love that it's a pencil not a pencil it's like a crayon and you just twist it um, but this is color light medium I think they only have like three colors but I'm not really sure because when I bought it there was only three so yeah so anyway so I super 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 <laughs> Super highly recommend this concealer just because, yeah, I generally do not like concealer. I just use foundation and I was able to use this under my eyes and it didn't crease at all. And that's like the biggest problem with putting things under my I don't have it on today, but I really, really highly recommend this one. You should get this one. I super, super, super like it. Um, yeah. I don't know. And I also bought this because I think I had a coupon. So if you want it for cheaper, you should go look for a coupon because generally L'Oreal does have um, coupons for their makeup. And I think it's such a good deal because I don't know. It's so good. So good. Um, my next one would have to be this one. Um, so this is my third one. We're almost done. <laughs> um, this is the Rimmel waterproof scandal eyes um eyeliner and i use this for my waterline or my inner tear duct if you want it to be brighter and i super super love this especially for my okay i gotta stop saying super super love i don't know do you guys notice in videos i would just repeat one word all the time it's so weird okay anyways i really like this one just because 
the waterproof is really good a lot of times when it's waterproof it doesn't work all that well i generally have like watery lid watery eyes i don't know it's just so moisturized for some reason um so and oily lids that's another thing um i super su <laughs> I'm saying super again. I really like this just because it stays on really well. I love the color. It's not exactly white. It's not exactly peach. It's not exactly cream. I don't know what color it is. It just says it's nude and it is so good. You guys need to try it. So 005 nude is what this is and I generally don't um, water... <laughs> I usually don't line my under eye, but I really like this on casual days for some reason. I don't know. It just gives it a little hint of something there. So super like that. There you go. Another super. Oh, well, you know what? I can't do anything about it for this video. Okay, so the last one I'm going to have to talk about is Physician Formula. Okay, so something in my background with Physician Formula. One is really expensive, as you can see, it's like really expensive for a drugstore brand. I don't know why it's a drugstore brand, but maybe because the quality is like you hit or miss kind of with it. Um, so this one is the BB Beauty Bomb. This is basically a bronzer. It's, okay, this I'm just going to show you what it looks like. A little glary right there. Don't know how to stop that. But so this is what it is. I really like this one because... It was kind of tricky because, oh, I use this not for a bronzer, but for a blush. It's a beautiful brush, and I don't know if you can really see that because I did use this to swatch the um, eyebrow stuff. But anyways, I really like this. It's really subtle. It's like a, like a gloss, and there's a little bit of shimmer to it. I mean, you can't see it on camera, it doesn't show up, but when you apply it, there's no shimmer at all, or not that I can tell. Um, I really like this for casual days and just subtle makeup, and I really like this as my blush because it looks really nice, um, and I really like the fact that, whoops, that there's this mirror down here that I really like. So if you're traveling a lot, this mirror is just so clear. Oh, you can see the, but I really like that. And this brush right here is really soft. So you just really have to be careful on how to apply it. But overall, the products for this is really good. There's SPF 20, which it's kind of strange because you're really, really putting a, like a really subtle layer on for, you know, a blush, unless you like to apply a lot of blush, I don't know. So it's SPF 20, and this color is color light to medium, and this is the SPF 20 Blush Spectrum Sunscreen. So I really like this. This is something that I use on a daily basis when I do use makeup, so I highly recommend this as well. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to leave um, any questions below, comments on what you guys thought of it, but I love all these products, and it might go into my holy grail, but at least three of them I super love. Um, yeah, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys in deciding whether or not you guys want to use it or try it But I highly recommend it. So I think you should um, Give this video a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye